Hello everyone, a book I would like to introduce you today, titled 50 Pips a Day Forex Strategy, tutoring you how to earn 50 pips a day with his Forex strategy. But actually throughout his book, there was zero mention about 50 pips. <laughs> Have you experienced you are in a situation that you have to constantly monitor the trades you have auto? By constantly, that could be daily, every hours, every minutes, to every seconds. If you do, I have a question. Do you feel tired? Let me guess what will you answer me? A. To make money, we have to sacrifice our precious time and blood, which also known as hard-earned blood shaded money. No, I don't feel tired at all, I actually enjoy it. You don't if you are losing, haha. <laughs> B. Mmm, yeah, I feel kinda tired for having to constantly monitoring the trades, as every minor price fluctuation would freeze or excites me. I would imagine my heart stopped beating for seconds, sort of like riding a roller coaster in the Amazon jungle. Yeah, I feel like I wanna give up my trading career. C. Fill in the blank. As a trader myself, I tend to obsess of getting rich overnight scheme and I did actually explore over hundreds of EAs and trading strategy myself to find the holy grail, but too bad I wasn't able to be framed at the front of the Time magazine. A dream could someday… oh well don't even think about it. This book, named 50 pips a day forex strategy, the author advised you and me and all traders especially newcomers, hey slow down cowboy, placing a hundred trades every minute doesn't mean you can win hundreds of thousands. Instead your account is about time to pay a little visit to ICU soon. Okay. To prevent such disastrous event happen on you, we have to trade small. To win big, but how? Instead of focusing on a 5 minute chart, you should work it on a higher time frame like the 4 hour time frame, the daily chart, as they are less violent looks like. In the contrast, you did feel more relaxed to trade with the higher time frame opposed to the super high tension mood for scalping on the 1 or 5 minute chart. That's the first step. Furthermore, if you are an experienced trader or had been trading in the forex for a while, the author suggests you to uninstall and reinstall the existing trading software you currently own. Why? Because it looks too messy. Provided with all sort of messy indicator and expert advisor you have installed, the author suggested that all indicators are lagging. The results of the indicator require past historical price per calculations. Then by the time the trading instrument you are trading are moving outward, your potential profit would have descend to heaven already. So go ahead and wave your hand recite sayonara to your trading setup. The most reliable trading indicators and strategy which has high success rate according to the author, he suggests moving average, and only moving average, the 200 day period moving average. Other than that are price trends, support and resistance level, Fibonacci ratios, price pattern and candlestick patterns. I have an extra to add here, trading seasons, probably will explain these in a future video. Those mentioned trading strategy are proven to have high success rate and were implemented by most traders to date. First of all, let's explain price trend. Take any chart out, have to slow down to talk a little bit. This is a 1 minute chart. As we zoom out, the maximum range we can see is 1 day. For a 5 minute chart, the maximum range we can see is about 5 days. 15 minutes, about 15 days depending on your display resolutions. Can you tell if the trend is moving upward or downward? Now on the 4 hour chart, can you tell if the trend is moving upward or downward? How about on the daily chart? The O used to say trade with the trend, so then you should yell mama mia! To my rough estimation, trade with the trend increase your overall winning rate by 5%. Like how? Imagine yourself as a trader, you realize the trend is moving upward, you can tell it because the price is above the 200 EMA. You tell yourself, I'm on buy only mood. After a couple of days, the trend moves up, great you're making money. In case in the bad scenario it went the opposite, you wouldn't lose much though if your trade were placed near the support level. Then next, we're gonna talk about the support and resistance level, this doesn't sound unfamiliar to any of you I believe. If it does, please visit babypeeps.com. Support and resistance level are used as an important tool by many traders. Why? Because it works. I'm sorry, how? Support and resistance level are used by many traders as a consideration entry and exit point. Take profit and stop loss, safe and danger zone or prepare to take profit or prepare to close with rate. Next, Fibonacci retracement. Fibonacci, I had a name in my head. 
Oh, Leonardo da Vinci. Some of you folks might not know what's a Fibonacci retracement. Simply mean a two used to connect two dots, the high high and the lower low. When connected, a few lines appear with numbers. These are known as a Fibonacci ratio. When the market price touches this ratio, it has a high chance to retrace. Price pattern. What is a price pattern? The picture explained better than I do. The popular Elliott wave are known as a price pattern too. But as he continues elaborates, he's actually talking about the candlestick patterns. And finally, the amazing candlestick patterns. How amazing it is? According to the author of the book named Encyclopedia of Candlestick Chart written by Thomas Bukowski, some candlestick pattern has a success rate as high as 100%. Yes, 100%, you did not heard it wrongly. Imagine yourself as a trader, selling all your asset and only underwear left and dump all your fortune on this 100% trade. How about technical indicators? Should I add any of them to my chart? No, but yes, why no? Because the order suggests all indicators are lagging and yes, because the order again said he found that 200 day period exponential moving average performed the best. So he says everything. If any one of you are not familiar with the moving average, moving average is simply an indicator showing the average of the selected day period. Say for example, the moving average of two day periods, meaning ending up two days then divided by two. For the moving average of 10 period means adding up 10 days then divided by 10. Exponential moving average is a little different though it works like every other indicator as well require historical data for calculations. Then the story continues with the forex basics like being disciplined, emotionless, the risk reward ratio and so on which took over half of the book content. But among them there is one fact was pretty useful it was known as the candlestick confirmations. What's that? No idea? That's why you have to watch my video. Ha 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 ha. Candlestick confirmation is often overlooked by newcomer who wants to practice trading with technical analysis. Say for example, a pin bar candle. A pin bar candle were widely known as a trend reversal indications. Yet when you're trading on the 4 hour chart, the market is open and you see a pin bar candle sitting in front of a screen. You thought it was an opportunity and you enter the trade. But about 2 hours later, you came back to the screen and noticed, hey, wasn't it a pin bar earlier? You have to understand that all indicators require data for calculations. If the data is inconsistent, it gives you an inconsistent signal as well. Candlestick confirmation plays a vital role here. It is only advisable to trade after a candlestick has closed, where the indicators has the absolute value for the calculations. Okay, the strategy part. Throughout the whole book, the author only shares a single trading strategy. If you want more, buy the other books he wrote. And what had I been reading? The basics. Oh well. His explanation is pretty complex, I try to make it straightforward. His trading strategy works when a few conditions lights up. I found the opportunity to trade pretty rare, especially the order in Z's trading either on 4 hour to daily chart. Oh well. Condition 1. Buy only when the price is above 200 EMA. Sell only when the price is below 200 EMA. As explained earlier, you had a greater chance to profit when you follow the trend. Condition 2. Buy only after when resistance turned into support and retested. Sell only after when support turned into resistance and retested. You should also pause the video and practice it yourself. Take this for example. The candles are trending upward. Bounce when it dropped to a certain price level. Open up the tools at a trend line and this is known as a support level. When the price breaks out the support level, it turns out to be the resistance level now. So when the price retested, this is known as the valid signal. Condition 3. Signal candle has to be at least twice the size compared to the past few candles. The author believes a big size candle is where a lot of traders rush into the same directions. And the other suggests although conditions we mentioned earlier were all met, not all big size candles were valid. It goes not those big size candles with long legs because it may be a reversal candle. And not those first few candles that just broke out from the support resistance level though retested. Here's the original words. It is important to always compare the candle with the preceding 2, 3, 4 candles. 
The entry candle always has to be bigger than the preceding one, has to have a big body and close at or near the low if it's a bearish, or at or near is high if it's a bullish big candle that note it down condition 4 the risk reward ratio of the signal has to be positive the other suggests if you're risking one for one then ignore it really it's not worth the trading so the example part this is a 200 EMA wrongly written as 200 SMA we only focus on sell mode when we are below 200 EMA this is a trend line, initially a support level and eventually turn into resistance. This is where the price has retested but failed to move up. So consider this as a valid signal. Then the size of this red candle is bigger than the past few candles. We will open trade only after the big red candle is closed, known as candlestick confirmations. Stop loss has to place above the resistance level. Take profit level has to at least twice the stop loss level. That's how it works, according to the auto. On the same chart again, the support turned into resistance, yet the candle did not touch the resistance level, it is not retested, so it is not considered as a valid signal. I would like to show you more examples, but I'm afraid of getting struck by copyright infringement. If you are interested in knowing more, you should support the auto. And finally, the stop loss and take profit placement. As usual, your stop loss has to be placed above or below the support or resistance line. Then eventually move down to every swing, turning point, minor support or resistance level. Sort of like this. Initial stop loss second stop loss and third stop loss and what's the idea of the fibonacci retracement price pattern and so on well the auto didn't really mention them or the strategy part two that's it for this video if you find this video helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find this video sucks uh goodbye